Hello everybody, I'm sending you much love from Prague, uh, where I'm staying right now. And we're going to talk a little bit about cancer, and I decided to use this beautiful wall around me. Talk about cancer, since in Hebrew the letter Chet means a wall or a barrier, and that is the letter associated with cancer. That is also why the tarot card for cancer is the chariot, where you will always see a man clad with some kind of an armor, a shell, the same way that the crab has a shell. The cancer represents the energy of the wall that protects the city, protects the home, the walls that protects the family, and the body, you can say, that protects the soul. So this next uh, 30 days, starting from the summer solstice, is dedicated to connecting to the temple of your body, the temple of your family, the temple of whatever contains your essence. That is the real concept behind cancer. Cancer is the sign of motherhood. So this month, definitely, you have to imagine yourself giving birth to something. If you're a woman and you actually have a womb, dedicate some energy to that womb, to that um, part of your body that actually gives life out of nothing. It's the miracle of life, that's what represents cancer. Cancer starts with St. John Day, since John was the Baptist, again, forcing people to connect to water, which is the element of cancer, and it represents birth and initiation, since, according to most theories, we started our journey as humans, or as evolved creatures, or even as life, in shallow pools, again, water, that represents cancer. Now, this month is very much also dedicated to the moon, so pay attention to the cycles of the moon. Remember, as is a new moon, always start something new. As the moon is growing, when it looks like a D, you add things to your life. You can always ask for a wish and work on that. As you see the moon growing, your wish is manifested. When the moon is full, you just pull back and rest. When the moon is waning, when it looks like a C, you cut things out of your life. And when the moon is uh, starting again, its cycle, you start something new. Now, how to get along with cancers is pretty easy. Usually cancers are pretty easy to deal with. Again, there's some needs that cancers have. First of all, cancer need to be needed. So you really have to provide cancer with something that you need. If you call a cancer and say that everything's great, they're not going to be as excited. If you call them and tell them that you're very depressed or that you're really down and you need them, they will come to your rescue. That's why I'm wearing the Superman shirt, by the way. This is the ultimate hero of a very famous cancer uh, country or state that is ruled by cancer, which is the United States, born on the 4th of July. So it always represents the coming to the rescue element that cancer really needs. The same way that a mother needs to be able to cook for her children, uh, to go to do food for them, to take care of them. And again, the protecting aspect of the mother and the walls around the cities. Also, cancer take time. I had a lot of friends that um, were cancers and always when I was ready to go out, it took them longer than most people to get ready. So be very, very patient with them. If you have a cancer friend that's moving, that's a time where cancers are very vulnerable. So really offer your help. Um, if it's by carrying things or just even asking if they need anything. Cancers without the shell, without the home, is like a crab without their own shell, they're very vulnerable. So it's really, really important to pay attention to their needs around that time specifically. Also, uh, if you need to get connected to cancer, go visit them at their home. Don't call them, come visit me. Because cancer, again, like to host. It's the ultimate people that, you know, when they host a party, they move from one person to the other, wanting to know that everybody's fine, that everybody is um, uh, taken care of. Also, when you feel that a cancer has withdrawn back you know, inside their shell, try to bring them somehow outside, especially by asking for forgiveness. Cancers are very, very compassionate. For example, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama is a cancer with cancer rising, representing the energies of Kundun or Avalokiteshvara, the Buddha of compassion. So if you ask for forgiveness, they will forgive you. You know, so really pay attention to the needs of cancer because they're there to give us our needs. It's the same way that rivers and, and the sea give us what we need, but we also need to take care of that. So this month is a very exciting month. It's the peak of the summer. We are starting this journey on cancer in the first day of, can of, the first day of summer. So enjoy yourself, at least in the northern hemisphere, and have a fabulous cancerian month.